Hello everyone and welcome to the aircraft certification channel. But do you really know what aircraft certification is? If you do, leave your answer here in the comments. I'm Rafaela Caio and today I'm going to explain some very simple concepts, starting with what is aircraft certification. And then we'll we are going to talk about the different types of product approval and the basic steps to get the so Dream type certificate. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do it now and help us to continue to bring interesting content for you. So let's start. Certification is the process of giving official approval to a person, company or product that has reached a particular standard. When we talk about product certification, we are talking about different types of product approval. So let's take a look at them. These approvals can be the type certificate or the so famous TC, where you're going to have an approval for each different model or type. Once you get the approval, you become the TC holder. And then when you're going to change your design, you will need an amendment to the type certificate. But if you're a third party, then you can change the design by applying for a supplemental type certificate or STC. In the aircraft design, we have some complex parts and equipment that needs an approval themselves. And the TSO or technical standard order is the approval that will guarantee that, that this part complies with a predetermined set of standards. We also have the parts approval for replacement parts that will be used, will be needed in the aircraft for different reasons, one of them being obsolescence. And another type of approval is the repair which is used for the damaged aircraft to return to its operating condition. So now that we saw the different types of approval, we're going to see the steps that you need to get the approval. The first step of the certification process consists of someone applying for an approval or the application. The second step is defining the standards applicable to the project or the requirement definition. The third step is gathering information, including tests and analysis to show that the design complies with the requirements and submitting this information to the certification authorities, something that we call showing of compliance. The fourth step is when the certification authorities review the documents to find compliance. And finally, the last step is when the authority issues the approval or certificate itself. So, as you can see, aircraft development and certification are really connected to each other. Was this video useful to you? If you liked, give me a thumbs up. Now that you know the basic steps to get a TC, let me know your, in your opinion what are the main challenges of the type certification process. See you in the next video and enjoy your journey.